This is a video shared by Dr. Mario Gutierrez from Guatemala City, Guatemala. This is a case of a large macular hole in a patient recently treated with scleral buckle for regmatogenous retinal detachment. For this procedure, it was programmed to press plana vitrectomy with internal limiting membrane pinning. The technique chosen by the surgeon was the inverted ILM flap technique. There are some variations on this technique regarding the position of the flap. In the technique first described, the internal limiting membrane was peeled, leaving it attached to all the circumference of the macular hole, and at the end of the surgery, the flap was inverted to fill the hole. After finishing the peeling, due to the mobility of the internal limiting membrane, it is difficult to position the flap into the macular hole. So, the surgeon injected a perfluorocarbon liquid bubble at the posterior pole to stabilize the flap and help to keep it inside the macular hole. In the end of the surgery, the fluid air exchange was made, the vitreous base was revealed and endolaser was performed in inferior bricks. The inverted IOM flap was kept stable in the correct position even after perfluor removal.